So, game five in Cleveland as the Knicks look to end the series here and RJ Barrett has been phenomenal since, well, game three and game three and he has been goddamn cooking. Uh, Julius Randle was also way more aggressive in this first quarter, which was great to see after, well, he has struggled this series and Emmanuel quickly scores here from the corner as he had zero points in game four but he got off to a great start here as he hits another one here and he had 11 points right here and there and the Knicks were off to a double digit lead man and it kind of felt like just like I kind of predicted that they were just the better team and Randall continued to be aggressive here he gives them a 13 point lead with a minute left and then he turns his ankle once again and it sucks and Karis Lever was the only one who felt like it, he showed up in this first half for the Cavs uh, but yeah Julius Trendler I'm not sure you know what the evaluation will be but Obi Toppin was thankfully once again ready to come in and just deliver as he's been all series long and it's been awesome to see and clearly the minutes that he's gotten when Randall was injured really helped him and it's great Donovan Mitchell finally decided to show up here in the playoffs and this game in the end finally got tighter here in the fourth quarter with eight minutes to go we have a six point game but to be quite honest with you i never felt like the Cavs were in this game with the way the knicks have been playing and josh hart and <laughs> mitchell robinson were the mvps of this goddamn series they were goddamn phenomenal and it's it's crazy how great they were in this series rg Barrett here takes it to the rack misses but who's there you guessed it, Mitchell got damn Robinson and the Knicks win their first playoff series in 10 goddamn years. Shout out to the Knicks. Uh, just an incredible thing, man. RJ Barrett with 21, 4 and 4, he was spectacular. Julius Randle was really good until he got injured, unfortunately. We'll see how the injury goes. The game one against the Heat is on Sunday, so we'll see. But uh, I don't think he'll play, to be quite honest with you. Mitchell Robinson with 13 and 18. Spectacular performance from him. Josh Hart, 4, 12 and 2. Once again, impactful as hell. Jalen Brunson, 23, 4 and 4. Quickly with 19 and 2. He was great, even though he kind of cooled off in the second half. He was still really good. And Obi Toppin, once again, does well. Incredible stuff. They didn't even shoot the three ball well, but they didn't turn the ball over that much. Just 10 turnovers. Out rebounded the Cavs by goddamn 18 rebounds, which is just sad. And that was the major difference, right? Evan Mobley and Jared Allen were simply just nowhere near what Mitchell Robinson was this series. And we'll see what uh, Allen and Mobley do. I think Mobley at least, you know, showed more passion and he tried. He just didn't have it in him this series and he's still young, so it is way uh, more understandable than Jared Allen, who just kind of looked out of sorts, man. And I hope he shows us more next year because the Cavs need it. Mitchell wasn't great, wasn't bad. It was just kind of meh. And a rough first playoff series for these Cavs. Darius Garland wasn't great. And like I said, with the way Allen and Mobley have been playing, they could easily a zero win on Mitchell and Garland to try to slow them down even more and more and force them into tougher shots and taking even more shots and it just all worked out for the Knicks as they wanted. Shout out Isaac Okoro, he was good today, he brought in some energy. Karis Levert I thought like I said was really uh, great in the first half, he looked like he tried but uh, yeah. Uh, interested to see what the Cavs do in the offseason because there will be needed some bench rebomb because the bench was simply mostly unplayable. And it's going to be interesting to see what they do with this. Because uh, the potential is clearly there. But it just lacks a wing and some more bench pieces. We'll see. We'll see what they do. But I, I do trust trust the Cavs to figure some things out. Because they have had quite a few great off-seasons throughout these years. And I feel like the FO has has been doing a lot of things right and shout out to the Knicks because their goddamn front office has done all the things right it feels like this year and it's awesome can't I mean I'm not sure if I can't wait I think Knicks it could be one hell of an ugly series in terms of basketball but I think it will be a whole lot of fun at the same time so can't wait for Knicks heat and yeah they start on Sunday baby